Hello, and thanks for stopping by. My name's Daniela Mellon, and I'm an author and artist, and I teach online watercolor painting, as well as other forms of painting. I'm so excited to announce my newest class, Watercolor Mexican Food. The class contains 11 images, all broken down into real-time step-by-step instruction. But today, I have a bonus image for you that I'm gonna show at a faster speed to demonstrate all the steps. I'll include a link below where you can find the template for today's image, the empanadas, and I'll include a link to my classes on Skillshare and TabletWise once they're released. So thanks for joining me today. So here I have my sketch and I just wet the paper with some clear water. Then I mixed my color, which was yellow ochre with a little bit of sepia. And I played with the proportions till I got a nice warm color that was indicative of the pastry. I took some perylene red and some vermilion hue to make the salsa and then just some cerulean blue to outline the little cup that it was in. I kept going back and adding layers, leaving white on the paper. And then I erased the pencil marks from my painting. Here I cleaned up any splotches of paint that I accidentally dropped onto my paper. Then I went back and I wanted to add a second, deeper, more intense color. And I played with the proportions of yellow ochre and sepia again, adding a little more sepia to get a little more intensity and a little more darkness. I really emphasized the shadows as I went around my painting. I went on the areas that overlapped on the two empanadas and then the edge as well as the crimping that is so indicative of the empanada pastry. After I wet the entire piece again with a glaze, I decided I wanted to add some a pop of color here and there. So I went in with some cobalt blue and first I made a shadow and then I went with some vermilion hue to pick up the reds that were in the salsa and also make the image somewhat whimsical and a little unexpected. And then when that dried, I went back in and with more shadows, I decided to really emphasize the crimping and the pastry. Just things to make it look really specific to the subject matter. In this case, that's the shape and the texture of the pastry of the empanada. I outlined it further because as we know, watercolor fades the longer it stays on the paper and when it dries. So when it's wet, it's nice and sharp, but when it dries, it kind of fades. And that's a pretty effect, but sometimes I want just a little more intensity. Likewise, I went back in with my colors to add more pops of color. And that's what I have here. And I finally got the intensity I liked. I emphasized the salsa a little more, creating more highlights, more definition, a little more yellow. And then I added some spatter onto my painting. <laughs> 